and then after the announcement of presidential election, still there is peace everywhere. Uh, as we have the business we have is of the kingdom of God. And the Bible asks us to pray for the peace of everybody. In First Timothy chapter 2, Paul says, as one, I exalt therefore that, first of all, supplication, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. And I'm talking about uh, praying for everything. I want to speak about this today. This I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority. And we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of our God and Savior. Who will have all men to be saved. Now look at verse 4 and come to the knowledge of the truth. The intention of the peace as per Paul in this chapter he saw that the gospel be preached and people be saved. It's not about who is now the president. It's about the government creating peace and we preach and people saved. Amen. That should be our intention. Whether we are on this side or on this other side. As long as there is peace and the preaching of the gospel is done and the souls of men are saved, that is God's main desire. So, he says all. Now, yesterday we talked about praying for everything because we are still on that topic. We're still on that topic. We said yesterday that uh, you pray, when you pray for everything, you have to combine it with chapter 18 of the book of Luke. Luke 18, chapter 1. Luke chapter 18, verse 1. Sorry. The Bible says, And he spake a parable unto them, a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to Fame. Always. Now when you pray always, you'll pray for all things. When you pray always. Why does he say always? Always is a consistent activity that somebody does. It connotes consistent activity. Now if you come here today, I know yesterday you might have prayed for something else. The truth of the matter is every morning when you arrive here, and you want to pray, there will always be something that is pressing that day to pray about. Be it about the family, your family, be it about the nation, be it about the church. There will always be something every day. There's something urgent to pray for. So he said, always you ought to pray and you should not faint. I think we have prayed for the at least we don't see any much. I think the only thing that saddens us is the man who was abducted and killed. The one who was taken from a Bakasi. He was found dead in Lowy Tokto. Now such are some of the things that will make us be very painful, feel pain. He was working just in Lowy Tokto before they brought him to Nairobi. And then he's dead. They killed him right there. They took him back there and killed him. That's painful. That's painful. We need also to pray for those that family. I saw the family speak. The mother, the children. They're saying, please help us to know where he is. Oh, they're only bringing back a dead body. That is painful. That is painful. So we need to pray even for those ones. I don't know what it, how it feels. The only way to do your work you need to pray for all. You need to pray for Chebukati. You need to pray for the four who is at the death You need to pray for the Raila and his team. 
You need to pray for ruler, Buddha also. The Bible says pray for all men. And when we pray for all these men, we pray that justice is served. That's what the Bible says. So that there will be godliness and justice. So we pray for all. It is not over yet until the Supreme Court will bring, will bring forth its judgment. It is not yet over. So meaning, we also need to pray for the chief justice. Let us not just sit down and watch and see things. We should be part of people who are causing events that happens in Kenya. You think your prayer does not matter? Our prayer matters. Our prayer matters. More than a Kenyan, you are a citizen of heaven. So God cares more for this nation more than we think we care. You know, sometimes we think we care more. Or let me say this. Sometimes you know there is a way you want to care for yourself more than you think God cares. God cares for your life more than you care for yourself. And you can you cannot do anything unless we pray. The conducive environment of worship of what we are doing here. I am praying that the members of this church will fill this church every day. You worship for 20 minutes every day. Even after election. It's not only needs that will introduce us into his presence. He says he is looking for worshippers who worship in spirit and in truth. Worshippers worship every day. Sunday. Amen. And when you stand here to worship and to pray, the prayer of a worshiper is acceptable before God. A worshiper who worships God in truth and in spirit is not biased in any way. And any prayer you make when you truly worship God, you know, when you become a worshiper, and the one that serves God in truth and in spirit, it means you are on the path, on the side of God. The side of justice. On the side of... The only challenge is what people always, uh, what people always think is not what God always think. It is your ways and my ways are way apart. But a worship, our worship in the spirit and truth will always know the will of God. And will always pray the will of God. And the will of God will prevail. God makes history with us. I'm saying God makes history with us. Our prayer is what makes history. Our prayer is what makes God implement what he desires. God's desire has to be our desire. God's plan should be our plan. And when you worship him in spirit and in truth, that is when he will load your hearts and mind with his desires about the future. And the desire of God about the future is the well-being of everybody. The salvation. Many a times we live for what is not right. Many a times. We forget the big picture. Pastor Kifita was teaching us the other day. And he said, one of the reasons these people are far ahead is because they see the big picture. The big picture is everything. The world has to be captured. For this other faith to, to take over the whole world. And as Christians, we don't focus on the big picture. There are petty things that drives us away from the main purpose. So we need to know our place as intercessors who intercede for everybody. Whether Raila, 
Right now, needs prayer. Not to write so many kind of things on Facebook. They denied you. They did what? They, whatever it is. It is the will of God that prevails. Not the will of a man. So, he needs to be prayed for. Who trust to be prayed for? It is to take off. The work ahead of him is deep in prayer. And Lord, there's a lot of messes that he has to clear. But I have one confidence in any man that God chooses. That there's no problem that is big enough that God cannot solve to a man that repents. In fact, any time God raises a man, he shows himself big and great by doing the impossible. So listening to one of the prophets in the night. He says that the future of Kenya is glorious. As the lie said, if you listen to what I said, say, the next seven years he say, is a glorious day years for Kenya. It's the next seven. This is a small lady talking. Last night we were just watching with Mama Femme. And she said, God will turn around the story of heaven. Amen. When God is in charge, we are safe. Kuna imbanga tukusema, mambo, sawa, sawa. Yesu wa kiwa enzini. It's true. Mambo, sawa. We are looking at this Kenya with another glorious eyes. Not with a kind of future that now we feel is not. No, no, no. It doesn't matter who is the president. What matters is where God is reigning. God reigns. He is sovereign. He knows how to come up. So our prayer has to be for all these people. Chief Justice and her team. We need to pray for the police. We need to pray for Uhuru Kenyatta. It is not very easy to go back home when you practice power 10 years. <laughs> you are now ordinary ordinary Kenya. No. You are just moving with your bus like your vehicle. Like Before you know everybody has to forget the road if he is coming. Um, around 10 people are walking aside around him. That thing is over now. <laughs> we pray that he also transits to that other life peacefully and enjoy himself. And Kenya has to move on. We have to pray for Kenyans. They are talking about millions who are facing starvation right now. They're talking about millions who don't have jobs and wondering what to do. Over 5 million Kenyans who don't have employment. As long as we pray God, we will stand in his presence. He provides all that we need. Uh, we are not saying that the government will solve all problems. Because the truth is, the government is just like any other human being. They might have their priority, their priority might not be the priority of any, some people somewhere. But the one that meets our need is God. God is above all. And as long as we sit under his feet and speak. So let's continuously pray. Let's continuously pray. Until the issue about this election is sorted once and for all. And we will still continue praying. Even when the thing is sorted. We need to pray for a new king. Even in this that is happening, we also need to pray for ourselves. How will this government affect our individual lives? That's another thing. And all we need from this government is peace. The other things God will do for us. We don't depend 
the president of Kenya, Ruto now. Don't we depend on God? He becomes our source. He's our everything. We also pray for Marsabit. The governor has been elected. The MP, the Senate, the women rep. All those, the MCS. We need to pray for all of them. Well, the reason so we also need to pray for Marsabit and all these leaders is so that God will direct the, pay, the ways of these people. We do not want back what happened last four years. There has to be something totally different. It has to be a new season for Marsabit. I mean it has to be a new season. It has to be a new season. I am saying it has to be a new season for Marsabit. Sometimes we have to be, get angry and pray for Marsabit. More than even talk about, forget about Kenya. Here, we have to. We have to cause the peace to prevail by standing before God every day. Whatever plans the county government has, the MPs has, whatever, we pray that it is good for the peace of the land. And this gospel should not be hindered by anybody across Marsabit County in the name of Jesus. And this is what I'm saying. This gospel should not be hindered. So our, our main purpose is this one. It is move across. When the fighting was happening, I didn't go to Badasa secondary until now. It's the beginning of the year. The route cannot pass. Lack of peace. Walimu asks me, he goes with his, his vehicle, but now, now going to Boruharo, three, going, you can take one hour to reach there. Coming back is another one hour. And because there was no peace. So we are saying, this time, whether the governor is the same or the MP is the same or whichever leader that is, we are praying that peace prevails. And sometimes I, 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 I blame church, not even the political whatever, because we don't, don't pray. We, are, we just expect things just to happen for us. Things don't just happen. We need to pray. We need to pray for Marsabit, Big time. In fact, every day when we stand here, we need to speak this peace to prevail everywhere. Father, we are thankful. We do not take for granted the prayer we make here. Even about the peace that is prevailing in the land. In the name of Jesus. The peace that is prevailing. We thank you for it. And we pray that everything will be solved amicably. Every warring party or whoever is dissatisfied will also be satisfied. As they were saying yesterday, it's not about going to the street, it's about going to the court. And that becomes our prayer. That through the court, everything to be sorted out for the glory of your name. That Kenya moves on in peace and prosperity. We pray for Marsabit like never before. We need a turnaround. I mean a turnaround. This phase of the county government should be a new face, a totally different face, face that is known with total peace across the county, plus more development of people and more movement of people from one area to another without any form of animosity in Jesus' name. May this thing that has been disturbing us never come back, even in this next 
very uh, season that we have. I pray that over this season, we will preach this gospel to every corner of this county. We go physically and preach in the name of Jesus. Not just on radio, but physically on the ground. We reach and Lord reach out for the glory of your name. Because all our business that we have today or in this life is preaching the gospel and for salvation of men. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Spirit is with us now and forevermore. Amen.